I definitely think War is the me a way to go for XP. It seems to be doing me wonders at the moment, almost level 49. So if we can get a couple levels out of this session, I'd really, really be happy there. And then we could probably wrap this up next week uh, in a live stream finale. Might be a two-part in a live stream finale, but either way, we can definitely get it done. If we could get to level 50, I think we would stand a good chance of finishing it next weekend. That's my opinion. And all this footage will be used for gun in 60 seconds that's necessary because... I want to finish that series. I hate... I've said this many a time before. I hate leaving series unfinished. Which is why I'm now looking at series that are a bit more midway. Because if they're not super long, I won't feel... Then I know I can finish them even if they're not really coming off in the way I want them to. Or they're not receiving the kind of support that I would like. And that's all it is really. Is just is I'm just trying to find something that people like. Why would no one build that turret? Build things. Bees retreating. Keep firing. B is advancing. It's a good grenade. Not good enough though. Where? B is blocked by our hedgehog. Yeah, you get him, Devil O. Devil O. Our hedgehog has stopped B. They destroyed our hedgehog. Baker can advance now. Okay, we're losing B is almost ground almost the everywhere line. else, and I'm sat on A. The line. Don't let them get another. Okay. C is blocked by our hedgehog. At least we pushed A all the way back. I wonder if I could cook this enough to blow up in midair. Not quite. Mate, get a grip! You shouldn't be able to spam that. Perhaps you should go to the turret over here, boys. Not having this, mate. Oh, he's got a sniper. Rat boy. You rat. Why is no one helping me at A? One minute left. Abel has been stopped by our hedgehog. Destroyed our hedgehog. Abel to the now. Help. A is almost crossed the front line. Is anyone out there wanting to help? On this okay, no. Apparently not. We well, that's what happens sometimes. Anyway, moving on. Keep the Germans from stealing our fuel Can I help you build that? Okay, I'll build this one. I don't see the point in building this one, if I'm completely honest with you, because it does nothing to help you as a defender. I just want the points, really. What are you shooting at? Stop we shooting at me. Oh god. Where are they? How am I being shot? Can't see anyone. Glad he was moving because I only just saw that guy. K. 
Come on. Oh, for God's sake. What are you doing? G JG Crimson, you complete knob. That's stupid. Don't let them steal our fuel. Try not to let them steal the fuel, but easier said than done. <coughs> Keep killing everyone. I still maintain, right, that these war maps, although they're boring, I find them boring to play war, they are definitely some of the best map design that c for maps ever. Like, if these were team deathmatch settings, like this town, especially this little middle area, if they, this was a map, it would be great. This game would be amazing. I think this could really work as like a general multiplayer map, but it's a shame Sledgehammer did uh, not feel the same about this. We're holding them out here. You're kidding me, honestly. I'd love to see this one. Right, okay. Just gonna build this, boys. Don't mind me. Oh god, where's that hit detection gone? No way. Just no way. You should have been dead if this game actually had hit detection. Maybe it's the rate of fire so slow it just like doesn't work. Are they? Well, they did take A, quite frankly. Me and Lucas Roch going huge for the boys. See, it's this kind of distance I want to get into. This kind of distance is immaculate. That's going to kill me. I'm still alive. Dead now. See, I, I made it a principle in these Gun in 60 Seconds videos not to use war footage for uh, example stuff because it's a very different game mode. Plus, half the divisions don't actually do anything. Well, that's not true. Think, like, the mountain class it is the most essential division for snipers in this mode, but it is also the most useless division in general, because half of the stuff it does, like, prevents you from being seen from kill streaks and stuff, aren't actually in this mode, so it makes no difference, if that makes sense. It just makes you quiet and give you aim assist on sniping, the ability to hold your breath. So, if that makes sense to you. Alrighty then. Where's my ex escort XP? Let's get X XP for escorting something. I don't know. They didn't build any hedgehogs on this road. See, I wonder if I could build a hedgehog and then, like, if we all died and it retreated, it wouldn't be able to retreat because we'd have built... It would get stuck. 
If you know what I mean. Does that make sense? Does it now? Well, get me over there and I'll happily help Enemy escort it. Nades everywhere! Corner, is there not? We've broken through the front line. Keep moving towards the bridge. Go on, tank. Our tank is running low on fuel. Steal fuel from the enemy or our attack will score. It's got away with words, this uh, German announcer, doesn't he? I don't know why I go this way because it's not even the way I want to go. I want to go to A where getting fuel is easy. Look at him, he knows, this guy knows what he wants. Go on Project Gaming. Got you covered. But anyone comes around this corner, they're getting stabbed. Why would you build that? I was going to say, you've literally just like completely stopped yourself from getting anything there. Have we filled up the, the fuel yet? Okay, we've already done it. We wow, that was quick. I'm not sure what's going on. Can I get points for demolishing this? I'll take that. If there's any excuse to get points, I'll take it. I did. Take some points. Love it. Can I get points for doing this? Look, if there's any reason to get points, I will gladly, gladly take it. I did. Love it. I didn't even get lit up there until the end. Feel like I should have survived. Keep going, Devilu. Making good timing here, boys. Enemy flame throw observed. Get to cover. How did I get lit up? Jesus. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. Tank is retreating. It needs an escort. Tank is retreating. Okay, then. God damn it. Is he still in this corner? The no. the 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 bar is filthy again. I don't know what happened to it, but it's absolutely filthy again. Bar is sexy, man. 
Looking forward to doing a gun in 60 seconds on that video. Because it's just so beast. Get all these kills. Mine. All mine. Chuck a grenade. Come on, boys. Get over the line. Get it over the line. It's going backwards. The tank's moving forward. Get in there and escort the tank. Trying. I can't actually make anyone out, but there you go. Got over the line eventually. That's what we like to see here at Get Over the Line FC. But what sense that makes, I don't know, but there you go. Well done, lads. Nice, swift finish. Level 49, I'll take that. Get in there, get in there. I actually want to keep playing, just so... I don't even care if these episodes are a bit longer than normal, just so we can get to a good place that we can finish this. I know it's probably not, like, the worst thing to hear when someone's like, I want to finish this series because I don't want to play anymore. But, yeah, like, I just... Had enough of this series. I think everyone else has viewership has uh, declined, and I put that down to the fact that people aren't that bothered about watching it anymore. You know, someone actually asked me on Instagram. I've forgotten what his name is. I wonder if I can still find it. Uh, unfortunately, I can't remember what his name was. But someone asked me to do a commentary about uh, footballers' wages and whether I think they're overpaid and, and I think there's no arguing that they are extremely overpaid for what they do yes they're entertainers yes they provide us entertainment and they're very incredibly skilled at uh, what they do but I don't think they deserve anything special compared to what um, a doctor does I think like people work in the services emergency services and all sorts of Things like that. Teachers especially. Like, since I met Susie, I've only just kind of understood what it is that teachers have to go through. Like, all the stresses and... Oh, my God. The stresses they go through and all the work they have to do. And it's not just, like, if you don't know teaching and you don't know a teacher or anything like that. Why did you climb? I hate it when it does that. There should be a way to define whether you want to climb something or you want to just jump in the air getting annoyed now. Um, because they might... Their job might be from, what, 9 to... You know, when they're teaching 9 to 3 or whatever. On an average teaching session. But that's not when the job starts. And that is certainly not when the job ends. You know? They're up at, like, whatever o'clock. 6 o'clock, maybe, just to get to school and get everything ready for the day. They have to plan everything outside of their work day. They've got to mark 30 kids' books. To, you know, well, depending on the, the class size and what it is you're teaching and what year group you're teaching. They've got to mark 30 books, 30 children's books. And that's not just in one subject. That's multiple subjects sometimes. They are parents. They are babysitters. They are medical first aid train individuals the amount of scrutiny they come under from parents and how little parents seem to care for all the work they do and the stresses of it all and they kick off at the first sign of anything they don't like even though they have to understand that there's 30 children and their children is not the only per person in the world and the fact that their children are not a perfect little angels who do everything they're told and never cause trouble because that's completely the opposite and what I don't understand is when parents take the word of their child over a teacher who's been put into this position because they are a responsible adult you wouldn't just put a random person in there like if you took everything your child said for gospel bloody hell you're a very gullible person but you're also an idiot quite frankly because children 
lie. They don't want to get in trouble. They know what happens if they've done something wrong. They get in trouble. Why would they tell you the truth? And then when p parents believe them, it's just like, mate, you're an idiot. But I think just in general. Anyway, that's, a, that's yeah. And nurses and doctors are just so underappreciated for all the work they do and the hours they work. It's insane. Like, for me, my job starts at 10 and it ends at 6 and that's it. I rarely do I need to do anything outside of those times, you know. There might be the odd occasion where I've got to work a couple, like a week in a row. There might be the occasion where I've got to come in a bit early to do something or I might have to leave a little bit later to get something done. There might be a time where there's an event going on outside of my you know, regular time zone. Just to do the work efficiently, I need to spend a bit of time outside in, in my own free time to get it done. And that's just standard work practice, you know. That happens. But apart from that, pretty much my hours are set in stone and then anything outside of that I don't actually have to really do. But it's not the case for them. They need to make sure that they fulfill their hours and everything on top of that. They only get their holidays when they are told to get them and that you could argue they do get a lot more holidays than most people which is nice but when you consider everyone else is on holiday at that time you've got all the kids out there who are having fun and like summer holidays for example become so much more expensive in summer because everyone is on holiday all kids are on holiday So obviously it becomes a lot more expensive. And you're probably going to be on holiday with all the other kids. I'm not sure how we're winning this because I'm not really doing anything or seeing anyone. And I'm getting a bit bored. What else is there that I could... Uh we did it! The crowd's ammo supply is destroyed! Where's he going? Some guy just ran past. Try to use that bayonet more. It's so damn good. It's three kills, basically. Why is the... I was going to say, why is the line not moved up? It's ridiculous how much they get paid to play a bit of football. Some people play football for free. Some people pay to play football. And I know it's just me being a bit nitpicky, but I think the amount that they get paid is ridiculous. Fair enough, a lot of players do tend to donate a lot of their wages towards uh, charities and stuff like that. Which is something they don't have to do, but very generous of them. He's actually peeking around that co corner like it's a PC game. Okay. Well, it's, a, it's actually a message here from Royal Swish. It said, what is your advice when first talking to your Tinder match for people looking for something potentially serious and not a one-night stand? How did it go between you, you and Susie? So Susie actually messaged me. Well, I got matched with her like a couple of days before Christmas. And I wrote, it was at that point where I'd done a bit of Tinder in and all that stuff. And I was like, well, how do people like start this off? Because I think just every girl who's ever had like a tinder or plenty of fish or thing like that goes don't just say hi it's boring if you just say hi i won't reply it one what an ass you have to be to say that right like i'm just supposed to say something amazingly unique every time i talk to someone that's not how life works so i just got to a point where i just say random chat up lines and they weren't very good ones just because I, I was like, well, I've got nothing to lose at this point. That's it. We're advancing. You know, you try a few of them quite seriously and goes mixed bag. Some people are like, no, not, not going to talk to you or just ignore you. Or they're not impressed by your, uh, your attempts at trying to talk to them. Is my team actually going to make any effort to push forward? So they basically just, yeah that point. So I just started writing random chat up lines, see what happened. Because one, one or two things happened. One, they'd continue to ignore you. Or two, they might laugh and it starts off a conversation even if it's absolutely terrible. Dude. 
And I think I, I can't remember what chat up line I used on Susie, but she found it quite. She, I think she was like, "Yeah, that was terrible," and I was like, "Well, yeah, it was, wasn't it?" But either way, it started off a conversation. She said she liked my my uh, my Tinder profile, and, and it was like, it's, I think it said something like a. I was, what did I say? It was something like, "I'm a nerd." I'm a I can't remember what I actually said. It was something like it was a, I'm a nerd with social skills or something like that. And she said she she enjoyed that. She liked that. Because she's got a bit of a nerdy side to her at times. And she needed someone with a bit of social skills. And yeah, we just kind of hit it off. It was not all bliss in paradise at first though. Because she was actually talking to a few other boys. And at one point she actually chose to... to exp to go with another boy over me. And I was like, oh, I see how it is there. How dare you? What's going on here? Why are they not spawned in? Um, yeah, and then... Our mission is to delay the enemy until reinforcements arrive and things didn't work out with her, and if you... And then like a week or two later, she came back, and I was like, hello, and I was like, oh, it's you. What do you want? And, uh, yeah, she, we just started talking again. And I didn't really want to... It sounds like I'm a bit of a rebound thing, isn't it? Or I'm second choice, but... She was like, no, I actually kind of hit it off with you a bit more than the other guy. I found you more interesting, but... Out of like... I don't know. What's the word you kind of saying? Well, this is what she told me. It could be different, but then again... She'd chosen me to be with for almost two years and to get a house with and... Hopefully a dog in the future. Uh, the it j I don't know, just she was already with him to start with, and they'd already been on a few dates, so she just decided to see where things went with him. It didn't work out. He uh, ended up getting a bit of cold feet, almost. And what a mistake he made, because I lucked out. That's the uh, that's our story. I don't know. We just started talking, and just I just think that. Although on stuff like Tinder, right, you don't want to scare people off and you don't want to... You want to sound cool and smooth. Where the... I can't actually see anyone. What an absolute mess of a human being that guy is. Anyway, with Tinder, like... I know it's... You don't want to scare people off or anything like that. You don't want to go too forward. But I actually find like sometimes being a bit forward is kind of what... If you're talking to... You'll know pretty quickly if you're talking to a girl who really wants to get into something or not. And I, I think that you know, with dating, especially on apps like Tinder, it's such a waste of time prancing about and beating around the bush. Obviously don't go, alright, let's get married straight away after five messages, but if you're looking to take it seriously and you want to find something, there are people, there are girls out there who want to take this stuff seriously as well. They just, and they don't want to waste their time as well, like going after nothing. So I find like if you just give a little, it's a bit of a give and take between both parties. You just have to be quite upfront and honest. There's no point like changing who you are and trying to be someone different because all that's going to happen is it's not going to work in the end. You don't want to unleash the bag of crazy st straight away, obviously, because, well, you'll scare them off. But I think you will find that if you do scare them off, I guess, if that makes sense, if you find that they're not quite digging what you're selling, they're not really buying what you're selling, then well, they're not for you. And that's just what you got to go, which is why when I came to those apps, I was quite honest about you know what I do and who I am. And you will get people who sound interesting. Go, oh, yeah, that sounds cool. And it's like, oh, yeah, gaming and stuff like that. To people who don't really get it. But at the same time, you've, you've got to accept that that's who you are. And there's no point trying to change yourself to meet someone else's. Even if they're a nice person and you're attracted to them and you think they're kind of funny. If they can't accept you, they're not the person for you. Because that's the point of what you're doing. Is trying to find that perfect person. You're not going to... 
there's no point trying to go for someone who's not into what it is that you are, you know? It's a waste of everyone's time. And sometimes you won't find that out until a few, a little while in. Sometimes you can give people the benefit of the doubt. It can be a bit lenient, I guess. In that if there might be some things you're not too keen on or it doesn't feel like it works straight away, but maybe a little bit down the line it'll work. I think very quickly you'll know whether it's right or not. And there's no, there's no, no shame in giving something a go. Like if you find someone that you kind of like, but maybe that's not all, you don't feel quite the connection, it can develop. And I think like some people are so set on a need to find that person that needs to work straight away. And it's not always going to be the case. Some people you do find you develop feelings for and a bit more interest in as you get to know them. Because even some people who you meet and you really like straight away, you find like once you spend time with them, you like them to an even higher degree than you did before. Obviously, it sounds like such an obvious thing to say, but there will be more depth to your relationship, I guess. And I think you probably will know a person in your life who you've met who two people were together maybe were just like friends to start with or didn't really know each other, didn't really get along and then all of a sudden we're just like head over heels for each other and that just that's just sometimes how things work. I guess on these kind of apps you're there those are kind of stories that develop from just, you know, general um life and general going ons and stuff like that if that makes sense but and this is kind of like you're there to date people so if it's not working there what's the point i guess and you are strangers at that point you're not going to see each other or talk to each other so it kind of has to work but yeah that is a uh, it, it is just a, a personal thing i don't think anyone could really tell you how to do stuff or date like it's always nice to kind of engage in topics that um, the other person's interested in and make it relatable. If you, like, f find, for example, they work on every level, but they're, like, a vegan or they're vegetarian or you're a vegetarian or vegan and they eat meat, you've got to decide there and then, is that something you can live with? It sounds like such a superficial thing, but it is someone you're going to live with for the rest of your life, even if it's quite a petty thing. Could you live with that for the rest of your life, you know? So, is it worth the time? I know I know. for me, personally, I probably wouldn't find myself getting along very well with a vegetarian or a vegan. Nothing against them. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, that's perfectly fine. I don't have any problems with you or doing that. More power to you, but... I love meat, love eating meat, so I just wouldn't find I would get along with a vegetarian or vegan in terms of compatibility just because all I'd want to do is eat meat. So there, that's just my, uh, my two sets. No, I'm doing this. You slag. I'll do this one then. Did he shoot that and it blew up? I didn't know you could do that. Damn it. Thought I had this suppressed. I don't know. Start off with something light. If, I, if you're really struggling for something to say and you... Just start off something light and cheeky, maybe. A joke or a chat-up line. Even if it's proper cheesy. Make it make it funny. And that's all you've got to do, really. Really? He didn't die there? I think that's just what the approach I did. For a while, I started just like introducing myself. Just went, hello. 
I'm this, this is what I do, this is how old I am, this is what I'm looking for. It's, you know, just being like, this is what I am, really, so... If that's up, if that's something you're into, then love to get to know you a bit more. But if it's not, then uh, I hope you find what you're looking for. Where's my team, man? I'm trying to do this solo. Yeah, it's just Tinder is a is a interesting place. Things like that. People are a bit snobby on it, and I I get the point. It's like you're trying to find someone amicable that you don't know, and you can't see in front of you and you don't know how there's only so much you can read into text because there's no like sarcasm button there's no like cheery voice it's just all text you gotta display emotion through word through text words like by writing lol and using excessive emojis you might find that tinder's not for you like there's not nothing wrong with that it uh, maybe just isn't what you're what what you want or what you're looking for it might just not work for you so and there's no shame in that it's just one of those things i think what you will f probably find is that things like tinder actually although they're there as a support for you i think it's good to have stuff like that it gives you a bit of confidence God damn it, that was the guy I wanted to kill. It gives you a bit of confidence to talk to people and see what people are looking for and practice some of your answers. But what I think what you tend to find is you get a bit more confidence and you, you'll find you become a bit more confident and willing to talk to people in person. How am I able to... Come on, what are my teammates doing? Do you want to win? Yes or no? Why do people keep unmuting? Come on, we got to get these bunkers. Alright, we got one. Stick to the objective. One minute until enemy reinforcements. Half my team are literally sitting back in the spawn, which is absolutely the most unhelpful thing ever. Go boys, I've literally Cleared it out for you. Please, get up there. Oh, there's a guy running around with a bloody knife. Why has this been built? I don't want to build it. I want to knock it down. I'm not even near that grenade. Thanks, team. You were really not helpful at all in that. Well, we've literally got to throw ourselves in there now. <sighs> Silly men and women. Yeah, if it doesn't go your way on Tinder, just don't be don't be ashamed, don't be discouraged. Maybe there's a different app out there. There's so many of them these days. There's so many different ways to meet people these days so i wouldn't be too disheartened our enemy is upon us they will attack with overwhelming force but they must not prevail you will so hold this beach don't be discouraged is my main point to make everyone finds what they're looking for eventually it's not a real person
Where are the humans? It's him, it's a human. Enemy flamethrower in the field. Defend the bankers. Screw you, hippie. Someone's around here. Push them back. Hold your ground. <coughs> Don't know. Yeah, I, uh, another thing I would say about Tinder, just don't force it. Don't force what you're trying to do, like, I think that is, my ultimate advice is just don't try and force something, don't try and force something, don't try to be someone you're not, be quite honest with them, because I think that's the best way to know if someone's interested in you, and if they're considering, you know, wanting to push forward with stuff, because ultimately, if you can be a bit of a weirdo and a freak, and they go, yep, no problem there, then they're clearly a bit into you, or that, or a bit mentally unstable. But there you go. Like people will accept accept you, and for you, and I, I've, it's always a bit of a ancient. Well, let's see, ancient. It's a bit of an understanding that girls are like confident men. If you're confident in your own skin, then obviously they're gonna like. That you're not afraid to be who you are. You don't want to try and pretend to be someone you're not. Okay, that didn't work out. Hopefully, he doesn't come. Oh, he is behind me. They are taking our bunker. Our bunker has yeah, yeah. The Why has everyone got a mic and just eats it and says random stuff that don't care about? I think one bit of advice I will definitely give as well is um, don't be too picky, if that makes sense. Like, make sure you get what you want out of someone. If you're not, if you if you're trying to go for someone who does not fit you at all, and it's nothing like what you're looking for, then don't. Obviously, it's a bit of a pointless exercise. But I think you'd be surprised that some people who you maybe aren't too sure about, you will find that. They are actually, in the end, what you're looking for, and they, there's a bit more to them than meets the eye, if that makes sense. So just because you might not necessarily be feeling it straight away does not necessarily mean that will be the case, you know, down the line. So always give people a chance. Because I think it's kind of like that whole treat pe others how you would want to be treated, because... It's always fair to give people a, a, the the benefit of the doubt and a chance, right? But what's even worse is if you treat them like a dick, they'll probably think it's acceptable and okay to be a dick to other people, which obviously hurts people's confidence. So that's my... Uh, that's another thing to take into consideration when you're... Uh, 
engaging on the old Twitter and stuff. Be considerate of others. I don't believe you're not going to come back and challenge that, quite frankly. Mm. Protect the equipment. Get out of it. You don't actually have to build that all the way just to get, <laughs> just to annoy them. Defend the communications equipment. Oh, we lost. Okay. Well, this has not been a good, uh, good sesh. My ears are hurting now. At least find some comfy earphones to put in this thing. The good thing about PC gaming with this headset is it's a headset that operates via USB and plugs into my computer. So if I'm playing a PC game, I can actually record good quality commentary and get the game volume into this quite easily. But when it comes to console games, there's no optical in, so I can't just use an optical cable to get the audio. So it's a bit of a compliment. I'd have to buy some converters, which I'm not prepared to do, quite frankly. What even is this gun? It looks like a mini M1A1. A mini fully automatic M1A1. Ah, I wonder why I got aim assist. Look at this big boy in this big toy. Gonna get up close and personal now. Quite liked where I was sitting, but you forced me to come down there. Can we stop them from uh, applying bombs? Where are you going? Yeah, good lad, defusing that bomb. That's what I like. Ah! Couldn't even see him there. His helmet, like, was the only way I could tell him apart. Without sounding racist, his skin just kind of blended in with the background. Dude, I like how I'm one person attracting so much attention. Trying to, uh... the enemy but it's easier said than done quite frankly there was definitely a guy I had here perhaps if I build this build this up because at least it makes things a little bit harder for them to uh, move forward give me that gun could always use a secondary. There's two people. I'm literally fending off one half of the map by myself. This guy's unhelpful in every single way possible. Okay, the guy with a knife is absolutely destroying half my team, which is nice. Right, we've got one artillery gun to focus on. So all you have to do is stop them going for it. Not a hard task, if you ask me. Quite an easy one. To be frank.
I'm stuck in it. See, they're going to all push up that side because my team's probably not going to stand there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Which <laughs> I was like, uh, where is it? Which way do I run? It's actually really easy to defend this. I don't know why we made such a meal of it. How's he got through it? What the f what? One minute left. Did he climb over? Come on, you got one minute to make sure they don't put free charges on this. That's all you gotta do. I mean I'm in a dead body. Question is, well they know I'm here. Come on, he's playing. I don't know how this guy with a knife has literally done nothing but plant bombs all game and no one's done anything about it, but... Ten seconds left. Oh, you stab me, I'll stab you. Are we winning? Are we going to win? Whee! We defended. Well done. Got there eventually. Ooh. Oh. Well, we done that. I think we lost the first half, so that's that, I suppose. But we've got there. We got to level 50 in the end. That double XP coming in clutch. Um, the question is, how far into that are we? <sighs> Ooh, I'm tired. Hello. Want some attention? Okay. Right, we'll call it a day there. We're on level 50. We could easily finish this next weekend. Um, in fact, let's open up some of these supply drops. See if we get anything nice and tasty. Doesn't look like it. Just leave the lobby quickly. We'll just call in some supply drops. What do we get? Is it no? Nothing of any use to me. Oh, 10 minutes XP. We love... Oh, and 5 minutes division XP. Love that. That will come in handy next time out. Right, so, I mean, I actually would prefer XP on this account, quite frankly. Look, we've got that extra XP and stuff. Love it. Right, hope you enjoyed. I imagine there'll be, if not one, two, live stream finales for the RTC. And then we'll be, uh, we'll be squared away with this one, and it should be all ready to go for the finish for the finale so keep an eye out on twitter and stuff like that i will probably announce it yeah i it probably will be two live streams anyway but hope you enjoyed i'll see you next weekend for the finale peace out